Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series where we will embark on an ultimate F1 career mode. There's going to be driver changes, there's going to be storylines, there's going to be bust ups. It is going to be elite. Now you join us live, we're well not live, sort of live, for the 1999 Australian Grand Prix. We have signed for Jordan, you would have seen that in the preview. And uh, yeah, we're going to get straight out there and qualify. Remember qualifying session different here, we've got... Uh, 12 laps which if you think about it, it's kind of like four fast fast laps over an hour uh, we're probably not going to use the whole hour though so we're not taking up too much time because I think these videos are probably going to be a bit longer anyway but yeah there's going to be stories galore I hope you sell us and you'd enjoy please subscribe like the video because uh, it's going to be a long series this we are going to follow the pattern so obviously next season will be the 2000 season and we'll go from there but we are signed to Jordan, and we're going to get straight on to it. Damon Hill's our teammate. I think we could... Rookie season, I've made a little mistake there. Rookie season, so I think we should just first few races, bet ourselves in, see what we can do. Get used to the car, because these are difficult cars to drive. But anyway, let's get straight in to the qualifying. Anyway, so, Hakkinen's currently top with a 35.9. We've done a 41.0, but there was many mistakes on that lap. We aren't going to get anywhere near those McLarens or the Ferraris. They are far too quick for us. Got to watch for the yellow flag. I don't actually think there is anything. I got that quite a few times, especially in the practice sessions. I'm not going to uh, record the practice sessions. There's no point. Unless I'm using it for a storyline, then I don't think we'll need them, really. But yeah, we're coming around. This is probably our first good lap. It's not clean. I don't actually think I complete, completed a clean lap, but... Yeah, we do a 38-4. I'll be to be honest with you, those McLarens and Ferraris are so far ahead that probably fifth downwards is where like fifth. Probably, we're currently second, but not everyone's coming to the pits. A bit further into the qualifying session now, because it was the 12 laps over an hour. You got a lot of drivers not really coming out for the first half an hour. So seeing Hacken and have that time already, it's quite surprising that he's come out already. But I just wanted to get on with it. I'm not going to use the whole hour. The track doesn't get better because the game is the track as fast at the start as it is at the end. So it's not like you wait for the track to get better towards like the final 15, 10 minutes of the session. So there's no point in waiting. That's down on Hack and we are currently actually up on our own time by just shy of three tenths of a second in the first sector. But the car feels all right. The car's got good straight line speed as well. It's got a, is it the Mugen Honda, in, Mugen Honda engine in? Ahead for 99. We are half a second up on our own time now. Currently still P2. We're not going to be able to beat for P1. But a 38 dead. It's the problem is I've got no reference point. I'm not sure if that's a good time or not. But we go again. We break in but we do run it wide. And we do snap a bit of oversteer. We do end up in the wall. We lose the front wing. That front wing has gone miles as you can see. I hope no spectators were injured. But yeah we're back in the pits. Currently we're... Look, you see, no big teams got out because Delarosa physical of Villeneuve of um, uh, other t other cars that are currently behind us. Sonali, Trilli, Deniz, Barrichello, Alasi's there. But we go, and I think this might be our final lap of the session. But yeah, we make it, oh, we did touch a little bit on the grass. Out wide, we're over the curb. Didn't lose too much time though because the curb's flat. Clip that curb. We are currently two seconds down, so there's been a mistake somewhere that I haven't shown. Is this our last lap? No, that was the final lap of the qualifying session. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure we're going to end up, but currently we are sat in. I didn't see us on there. Hello there. Welcome to Australia for the opening round of the 1999 FIA Formula One World Championship. The weather, as so often is the case here, is just wonderful. Over 30 degrees and climbing. It's a fantastic day for Formula One. Mika Hakkinen, first. David Coulthard, second. Jean Alesi, third. Fourth. Rubens Barrichello, fifth. Villeneuve, sixth. 
The Jordan driver endured a lackluster qualifying session and faces a tough start in the midst of a chasing pack. He starts seventh. Pedro de la Rosa, eighth. Uca Badoa, ninth. Fizzy Keller, tenth. Hill couldn't quite match the pace of his teammate. He starts 11th. Eddie Irvine, 12th. Ralph Schumacher, 13th. Alessandro Zanardi, 14th. Yano Trulli, 15th. Pedro Diniz, 16th. Wurtz, 17th. Olivier Panis, 18th. Zonta, 19th. Johnny Herbert, 20th. Takagi, 21st. Marc Genet, 22nd. Right, we're on the grid now. We are qualified 7th for the Sin from the uh, starting grid. Uh, we have a Williams to the right. Actually, I think that's Villeneuve to the right. We've got Stewart just in front. And it is Villeneuve to the right. De La Rosa behind a great lap from De La Rosa. But we're off the line well. We do defend thin air a little bit as we come into the first corner. We've got Villeneuve ahead of us. We've got Barrichello just in front of him. Barrichello switches it back. We blow into the back and we're taken out. That's Villeneuve's rear wing. That's our front wing has gone. Oh, it's been a disastrous first corner. But we'll take a look at the replay. We actually initially get away probably average. Um, De La Rosa gets away rather well. But we do have the straight line speed to pull up on him. Cover the inside. Hit the end turn one. Now, I wasn't expecting Villeneuve to just suddenly break. You see it a lot clearer in that angle. I wasn't expecting this. We're taking his front wing out. We lose our... We lo he loses his rear wing. We lose our front wing. That's... Oh, that's going to hamper us a little bit. Lucky for us, Villeneuve is currently holding the rest of the pack up. We'll take a look at Mika Hakkinen's uh, start here as he gets away really well. And it's a strong start. But we'll see uh, from um, David Coulthard just behind. He does try and make a move. They do touch. And they do avoid secondary contact. Well, I think uh, Kulfar did have to get out of it a little bit, which did cost him a decent run up to turn three. But yeah, that's the uh, McLaren are running, running one and two at the moment. But we're back to us. Fisichella has got past Villeneuve and is about to get past us on the inside. Yeah, we I'm surprised we held him off for that long. But I suppose he's not going to be miles up the road. We are going to have to obviously duck into the pits. Fresh set of tyres and a new front wing. It's a different style of pit lane here to where we is now, which threw me off a little bit. But yeah, into the pits, and uh, yeah, we need a decent stop. Obviously, pit stops were not as quick back in these times, so... Got a front wing change, we're into the pits, into the box, hit the markers. Problem is, we're going to take on fuel, which will get, obviously get us to the end of the race. I do think they have to be 50% racers, though, for the AI uh, to make pit stops, so I might switch it to 50% racers. I might stick it with 25 for a little bit, see how we get on, but it's a 13 point, that's not bad considering we had a front wing change. And um, that's decent, that's probably alright even now. But yeah, we've come out in P20, Trilly's ahead of us, apparently 7.4 on the road, is in a Prost, so we should be able to catch it. But anyway, this is Villeneuve, he's coming in, he's retiring his car. It's a disastrous debut for the BAR team and uh, his uh, debut for BAR. But anyway, we are catching a Prost of Trilly, who has also lost a front, uh, rear wing. So it's been, it's tough. It's tough for these cars already. But we do just drive around the outside of him. He's obviously not going to defend. He's not going from a uh, rear wing. Gets back onto the racing line. But anyway, Schumacher now making a move. He did lose out at the start. But he's making a move on the Sauber. And that's up the inside of a Lacey. And he puts himself into P3. Good move from him. Probably won't be seeing him again for the rest of the Grand Prix. But he is miles behind the two McLarens already. Look, 8.2 seconds he's off the lead. And it's, it might be a long season for us cars behind. But obviously points down to 6 as well though. Down to 6 because 10, 8, 6, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down to 6. So points will be difficult to come by this time. But anyway, we've got a run on Taka, Ta, Takagi. I can't remember his first name there but it's a great it's strand. We've got so much straight line speed. It's outrageous. We've got Marc Genet who's 8.5 up the road but the problem is these are back marker cars and they were seconds I mean seconds off the pace so we should be able to catch Mark Genet because we have got a decent car in this Jordan not sure if um, obviously in the preview of this in team principal wants wins wins might be a bit of a stretch unless both McLaren and Schumacher really hit hard times 
but podium's a definite possibility if we can get the strategy and race pace right. But we've brought a gap down now to 3.1, just hit three seconds, under three seconds now. We have got the pace to catch catch Genet, but we have got Genet. We've got to fire up the inside in the turn one because we're too far back. Position the car correctly, get a decent run off the first corner. Stay in the slipstream though, try not to touch the grass to ruin momentum. Get a slipstream, look at the speed of our Mugen Honda. As we go far, we've got the move done before we even get to the corner. That's us up into P17 now. Almost like a little test session for us, a little recovery drive. It'd be good to mix it in, get a little feel for how the car's handling traffic. So yeah, we've got Luca Badur up the road, he's four, just above four seconds ahead of us. Should be able to catch him as well, I think he's in the second Minardi. Apparently there is a yellow flag in two, in the first sector though, and the yellow flag symbol has come up, so there must be something going. There must be something going down, anyway, who is, are we going to see him? Is that Hill? That's Hill in the distance! He's dropped it, he bottled it early, doors, Hill! This is what happened, so he clips the second sour of, I think that's Johnny Herbert, and they just get caught up. But he was really far ahead, because he's caught up in with the sour for ages. But yeah, they do finally break free, and uh, but that's left a swarm of cars coming past. So he was quite far up the grid. So yeah, and obviously he continues with a car behind now. So he was what 16th place. But he's 2.6 up the road. So it'd be good actually to see if we can match our pace with him. But as you can see, we uh, Hacken and leads the Grand Prix. Coulthard four tenths back. Schumacher is it was what eight eight tenths eight, eight seconds on lap 2, it's now 13, so Schumacher does not have the pace to match both McLaren drivers. I wonder if they've been told to hold still the McLaren 1 and 2, but they look on course. I wonder if you see anything going to happen, retirements, engine failures, mechanical failures, losing a wheel. It's all possible. But we have caught up to the back of Badur, and Hill has made light work of Badur already. We've missed that, obviously. But the problem is Hill, I think we've got a quick car, but Obviously, us stuck in traffic, um, we are going to struggle to... Wait, we all almost end up into the back of him. But we cut to the outside camera now, we have got an excellent run on the second Minardi car, and we just pull alongside and straight past. I'm not sure, I think it's Cosworth. Possibly that that Minardi's using? Do not hold me to that, I'm not entirely sure. But it's not a great engine. But we knew that, we saw that in the preview episode. The Minardi's, they were slow, they knew they were going to be slow. They're going to need upgrades, but probably could need honestly they probably want a season to end already but have we have got a hill up the road he's less than a second now are we fire here we thought about a move but it's our teammate it's our debut we do not want to cause any issues because eddie jordan's a he's a tough man to please as it is but it's a run now are we going to make a move into the quick left right i probably would bet against it and that's why we've lifted off a little bit so we are uh, get a position right i think we could go up the inside and make a decent run maybe into this um it's kind of like a 90 degree. But we have got an excellent run on Damon Hill. We're going to fire up the inside, up the inside. We cut to Damon Hill's point of view and we slide up the inside. Obviously, Hill didn't fire out too much, but we don't expect him to fire out too much. We could try to work together this season. We could work together for wins, podiums. There's an issue. And now we've spun it round. We got spooked. We got spooked. Spooked. I could see. I think it was a Stewart that lost it. And then I think the Sauber behind possibly is just. Sauber or Prost but anyway we catch back up a few laps later because we've just been gunning it now that annoyed me a little bit that I was so spooked but we got Padur again should make light work we do up the inside yeah I think it was Pedro Deniz actually in the second Sauber that did spook us a little bit which is just I can't believe it's such a silly it's a rookie error of course but such a silly error but Schumacher's now 17 seconds behind the McLaren pair He's just, he's out on his own as well. That's been such a dull race from the front. But anyway, it's a hot race here. We've got Deniz. Herbert is just ahead of us in the Stewart, who has got the arrows of, I think, Della Rosa. It could be, um, oh, I'm not sure he's in the second car, but we get an excellent run because he had a break. So Hill, it's Della Rosa. It is Della Rosa. We're going to make light work of Herbert, and we are up the in uh, outside of him, but we do touch Della Rosa as we head into the right-hander. We're going to get a move on him, but we do we get an excellent run at the inside. Looks like the AI is on absolutely awful difficult. I promise you, it's on high. I did tests. We we'll take a look at the replay now, as you can see Herbert in the Stewart ahead. He did have to break a little bit or lift at least to not clip the um, back of Della Rosa. So we do make light work of him. Uh, we did touch. We did touch very, very lightly. We didn't lose a front wing. 
But yeah, we just put it up the inside and the rest. That arrows isn't quick. We know their car isn't going to be completed until at least round three when they've got their upgrades coming. And then we make a massive mistake. Put it off the track. And that puts Stella Rosa and Johnny Herbert straight back past us. I tell you what, we need to iron it. I'm hoping we'll be able to iron these mistakes out over the course of the season. But we'll see. But we're going to make a diving attempt. Oh, we're Stella Rosa. We are going to make a diving attempt. He's going to turn in us. No, he has seen us. Wow, that was close because they can't turn in. They can't see, especially if you come back from a really far distance. You might not see us in the mirrors. But can we get Johnny Herbert? We've got uh, a lap and a half to go of our debut race. It's been, it's been rather exciting, I won't lie to you. We've learned a lot. But we are going to get. We've got an easy, decent run, which is weird because that Ford engine's decent up the inside. Ooh. Well, I say Ford, it's Cosworth, isn't it? It's branded Ford. Shh. But yeah, that's us up into P13. Um, yeah, it's it's been all right. It's Schumacher down in 19 seconds behind, but we've got Hill. Hill ahead, and I believe that's a Williams of. Uh, it's probably Ralph Schumacher, because I think Zonta's behind us, possibly. We've got, yeah, so it'd be a. Uh, how can I win the Grand Prix? We try and avoid Damon Hill. Try not to take him out. We don't want to take the teammate out. We're going to make a little move. We're going to let him know we're there. He's going to cut to the outside shot as the hill sweeps back around the outside. We're going to fire it up the inside. We're trying not to touch. Did we touch? I think we touched a little bit as we fire it up the inside. That might not go down too well in the uh, race distance. We do touch. It was briefly. It was a graze. I'm going to defend myself. Obviously, hill runs it a little bit wide off. Exit. And yeah, we come out of the final corner and we will take home P12 in the Australian Grand Prix of 99 and uh, just stop on the grid. But yeah, we didn't score any points, but yeah, like I said, we finished well, the Grand Prix. The end of a fantastic Australian Grand Prix. Here are the final results. Mika Hakkinen, first. Coulthard, second. Third. Rubens Barrichello, fourth. Giancarlo Fisichella, fifth. Irvine, sixth. The Jordan driver, twelfth. With the results confirmed, it's high time we updated the Drivers' Championship. Hakkinen takes over the lead in the driver's channel. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, everyone. And if you did enjoy, uh, please give it a like, give it a, sub a subscribe. I can't get it out. But yeah, there'll be lots of this. There's going to be stories to pique your interest. We've got a Brazilian Grand Prix coming up, and it's next. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.